Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Who really cares about the car you drive? Or if you've arrived? We care. And that's why we guarantee the quality parts you need. Keep your adventure alive. Because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. Morning guys, my name is Ofense and I'm from Joburg. Uh, you're with me today with the prototype version 1. Something that I didn't anticipate on building but I built because I love creating things and it's been a lot of fun but it's also been very very crazy. And you guys are probably wondering, you know, where did this all start? I mean, you've probably seen this a lot online, it going viral. But it's a funny story how it started because it's also very unexpected. You know how you have the sun that normally peels away our clear coats and paint jobs on cars? So before all of this craziness, uh, that happened to the spoiler on the back. And because I'm normally intact with art and I had some art supplies, I was just, you know, touching up on the, on the spoiler at the back um, with oil paint, unexpectedly as well. And one thing led to another, you know, I found myself going to the scrapyard, um, collecting recycled material, you know, just experimenting with a bunch of engineering and art and just, yeah, going nuts, you know. At the core of everything is just taking something that's very cost efficient, a Toyota Taz, and then just redesigning all these aspects to it. The color scheme originally was based on Spider-Man's costume you know the red and the blue and the white i try to keep uh, uh some of the toyota taz aspects like this is from the toyota taz um it's just reposition and and lowered it wasn't an expensive build or you know me coming out and saying i'm a car enthusiast no i'm um, not even i just like creating things you know it, it, it's 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 very unfortunate how in order for you to have an exotic car one thinks that you have to walk into a ferrari dealership or a lambo dealership and that's not the case you know you could literally create something extraordinary using basic materials that you wouldn't even expect. I mean like yoga mats, LED lights from China Mall and a bunch of unexpected things. I mean this is from a laundry basket, this white trim. Uh, yeah, and this from a heavy duty dustbin. I mean you can even see the, the dustbin lid. Obviously it's been cut and positioned such a way but it's still there. You know, and I, I put these materials on here so that when people see the car in contrast to what it looks like, they actually see the material. A lot of people wonder with all of this going on, is it safe, is it road legal? And yes, it is, uh, which is awesome. I mean, safety first. Took it there and went through this criteria of indicators and brake lights and are they all there? But yeah, once they were there, I was happy that they could just tick that off and off we went, you know? Cool, let's go for a drive. You guys will hear when this thing is in motion, the way it's supposed to be, it actually sounds like a plane that's about to take off. It's really exciting, you can never get over it. You know, the cool thing about this car is that to drive it, it feels exactly how it looks. You know, I designed the steering wheel so that immediately when you jump in and you hold it, you feel like you're about to take off. <laughs> it's got that feel to it. I must say the craziest moments though that I've been in this car is when I unexpectedly go to a car show like Daytona for example where there's McLaren and Ferraris and you get there with what I know to be you know, just an old Toyota Taz <laughs> and instead of people gravitating towards all these exotic cars they gravitate towards this it's like insane it's crazy <laughs> Uh, I, I've realized a lot of things that I do create, they make me feel like a kid again. 
And, you know, when I put together Handmade Imagination, which is the company that pretty much is parent to all of my crazy creations, these things make you feel like a kid again, you know? And I think that's the goal. If, if we felt like kids again, we would be more expressive, more imaginative, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. Another very important thing is the reception. I mean, you know, when you build something out of fun, out of imagination, and a bit of, you know, I don't care what people think, but I'm expressing myself. When you put it out there, and people do react to what you've built, but in ways that are crazy, I think. So yeah, being caught by the U Magazine and just, you know, hearing that they want to interview me and just do a whole article on these things that I create, ending up in uh, an exclusive event, Daytona exclusive event, where, like I said, it's just, you know, all these exotic cars, Ferraris, McLarens, and then your odd Toyota Taz. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been fascinating, you know? Being indoors uh, for a very long time, building these crazy things, and then, you know, for the first time, putting them out there, it has proven to me that that's what it's all about. That's the point of everything that I do when you get to share these things with other people, you know? Because if you can inspire someone else, a little kid that can, you know, sit in the driver's seat and then feel like I can bolt this myself as well, you know, that's, that's perfect, you know? I must say, I didn't anticipate it to sound this way. It was just an experiment using uh, air compression and you know the slits in that object, the exhaust system. And when I put this object together and I installed it in the exhaust system and finally tested it, I was like, wow, what is this? I've never heard a car that sounds like this. The crazy thing is what people think this is before I tell them. I mean, a lot of suggestions go out there, but it's crazy ones. I mean, the DeLorean, the spaceship. And you know, when someone says, oh no, it's a Lambo because of the way it looks at the back, it's like, I see that as a compliment, you know? But it's, it's crazy when I finally do say, hey, no, it's just an old Toyota Taz, you know? That's been redesigned and, you know, uh, reimagined. But um, yeah, I think it's all these aspects, even on the inside. I mean, I try to compliment everything on the outside with the inside but i wanted it to feel like a spaceship you know when I mean, you hold the steering wheel and the way it sounds and just these little small aspects that you open up and you interact with the car uh, you start it with the button the gear lever the doors you know i feel that we see a lot of these touches on concept cars where you would look at the front of the car and think, okay, where are the headlights? Um, and where's the tail light? And where's this and where's that? But they're all hidden. And I try to incorporate that, that aspect, you know? Um, that's why I say it's, it's, it's a little bit of the future as well. Because when you look at the car, you wonder, is this a manual? Is this an automatic? What's this? What's that? But I literally redesigned, you know, all these aspects, even the seats, you know, built them at home. And I had like a prototype that I was testing out and I tried to look for the most comfortable position that you could you know, like, sit in and yeah i just went with that you know but yeah a lot of thought a lot of experimenting having fun trial and error you know i i remember when i redesigned these doors uh, so they open in this way i was thinking how am i going to capture this uh you know opening in one single sequence because normally with these aftermarket door hinges um you open the normal way and then you put it up but with these doors it literally flies up um in one sequence and obviously I can't go to McLaren and you know try sneak and, and, and see what they're doing. But I just follow like basic mathematics and <laughs> fingers crossed, you know. <laughs> this car was pretty much built and designed under the company Handmade Imagination. That's the company that I attached to, you know, my crazy creations, if you will. And the slogan for that company that I thought of is 
be a kid again. Because I've realized everything that I create literally makes you feel like a kid again, you know? And I think that's how we should all feel. Constantly. You should never lose that. Whether it's in fashion, music, entertainment. You know, it should make you feel like how you felt when you were 10 years old in your backyard playing with mud or using strange things to bolt things, you know? I always think the cool part about all of this is that it's based in a place where there's a lot of expression anyway. I mean, we live in South Africa and you know, there's a lot of diversity, a lot of culture. I think this can also be a, a, an extension of that, how we express ourselves as South, as South Africans, you know? When you look at a car like this, you probably expect it to be heavily modified performance-wise, but not even, I mean, you know, there are aspects that I redesigned of the sound in order to make it sound like a spaceship or a plane that's about to take off. But mechanically, I haven't done anything major. I mean, it's still got a stock 1.3 Toyota Taz engine. Everything is still stock apart from that sound. You know, the cool thing is that you meet awesome businesses that approach you and say, hey, no, we want to sponsor you with you know, a bit of this, a bit of that, like road performance, um, Garam Engineering. They put together an exhaust system that complements this object that I built that is responsible for it sounding like a plane that's about to take off. But it doesn't take away from the design or anything else, you know, it, it, it goes hand in hand with it. We have arrived. We have landed. <laughs> you know, I must say, after building all of this, I guess the most important thing is, it's sort of a reminder that when you're a kid, you never give up. We engage in all these new things without even having to worry about, is it gonna work? Am I gonna get hurt? And it's that spirit of being a kid again, you know? And certainly when I built this, that's what I had in mind. Life throws so many things at us, things that we're not even prepared for. I mean. Many people think that I'm an engineer, you know, or I, I dabble in technology and all, but not professionally. I mean, this is just me being at home, experimenting, being a kid, if you will. And I think not giving up because I don't have a plan for all of this. This is spontaneous. You know, not having a plan and building this, it just shows that, you know, you can do all these extraordinary things if you have that strong will and just never give up. Not being afraid of embracing your imagination, just like a kid. You know, no matter what. So, yeah, I think that's the point of all of this. So if I have to, you know, put one thing out there, just bear that in mind, no matter what you face, no matter what you go through, what you do, just be a kid again. Not only is Kazakh Koza the best place to find your dream car, but it's also the easiest place to sell your current car. Check out the sell car section on our main website. Simply list your car's details and all of our dealers will take bids on your car. You just choose the highest price. Boom, your car's gone. On to your next one. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm finished now. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.